This is Sonic, and you're watching JD Frank 20. Man, fuck this trailer, man. Man, fuck this game in the ass with a chainsaw. You realize this is nothing more than a marketing ploy by fucking sake of Japan just to appease all these fucking shadow fanboys. So here it is, Sonic Generations, Sonic X Shadow Generations. Oh god, I hate that story. Seriously. Basically, Sega had no choice, they just made this game just to shut up all the Shadow fans up who kept whining and bitching and complaining to Sega of Japan and Sonic Team so they could focus on the main uh, core games, obviously. So yeah, so obviously Sonic Team did not make this game because why the hell would they have the time to create this fucking monstrosity of a game? Let's be real, we know what that's what's gonna happen. You know, because I could honestly see this being another color Colors Ultimate situation. Don't let the CGI fool you people. You know, you know there's gonna, this game's gonna have bugs and glitches, and I can't wait to uh, call them out on that. I know Shadow and Sonato fans will be eating this shit up. They're gonna remind people that this game is still pre-Sonic Frontiers. So why Shadow fans can still, you know, be excited. Yay, your, your precious Shadow the Hedgehog is not a remastered 13-year-old game. Like, who gives a damn? It's nothing more than a cheap cash grab for Sega that they're probably gonna charge $60 for. But at least it's available on all consoles. And at least the Nintendo Switch version actually gets one, which is fantastic. Yeah, so here's some more information, actually, about the uh, the Shadow portion of the game. Uh, according to the PlayStation blog, Sonic has... Sonic X Shadow Generations combines classic Sonic, modern Sonic, and Shadow gameplay alongside a collection of beloved 2D, 3D stages from Sonic games over the past 20 years. Sonic Generations will now be modernized for PlayStation 5, 4 consoles, and Shadow goes on a standalone journey to explore his backstories and his abilities in a way fans have never seen him before. The ultimate celebration of Sonic gaming looking better than before with upgraded visuals. And here's a quote right here by Takashi Izuka. With, with Sonic X Shadow Generations, we wanted to bring Sonic Generations to PS5 and PS4 while pairing brand new Shadow storyline with crossover with the original story. With Shadow's portion of the title, players will get to know him in a better character as he understands his motivations. It will create the ultimate celebration of classic Sonic, modern Sonic, and Shadow gameplay that all fans will surely enjoy. And I surely didn't do this because I was forced to making this crappy game just to appease all these shadow toxic fans. And we're also not going to make a cheap cash grab of $60. Thank you, fuck you, bye. So that's basically what Takashi Izuka is saying. This is nothing more than a fluff piece that uh, Izuka just said right here. Sega's real motives is basically just like, uh, here's Sonic, Sonic X Generations. That'll be $60, please. It's available on all platforms, and it's safe to assume that the older game is going to be delisted. I understand that fans are going to be in an uproar about that, but hey, business is business. Sega has to protect their investment. Same thing with Sonic Origins. When they delisted the older games, they have to protect their investments. You know, it, it is what it is. Again, everyone, let me know what you all think about this, because quite frankly, I wasn't that impressed with the trailer. Like, yeah, it's what you expect, but again, you know, just wait till you actually get to play the damn game. You know, the game's not going to release until late 2024, you know, so it'll give it'll give them plenty of time to, to go uh, to go over all the bugs, glitches, make sure the game is ready. Let's see how they're going to fuck this one up. I'll be surprised if this game doesn't have any day one glitches, but I'm willing to bet <laughs> I'm willing to bet anything that this game is going to have a shit ton of glitches and a shit ton of features. Just wait for it. It's going to be a Sonic Colors Ultimate fiasco. Not as bad, but you know what I'm what I'm talking about. Let me know what y'all think, and I gotta go. Peace out.